Hello everybody, this is Kenneth Marks of The Ancestor Hunt. Today I'm going to show you how to research free newspapers made available to you via the California Digital Newspaper Collection. This resource is available via University of California Riverside. It is a free resource as I mentioned and I have used it for a couple of years and have found many many articles from the hundreds of ancestors that I have who lived in California. So let's get started. As you can see, here's the home page for the California Newspaper Collection. We have the home page, search, which we'll get to, a list of titles. You can browse by date, and there's a help and about feature. You can register for an account, and I'll talk about that in a moment. And I have already logged in, so I won't show you how to do that. So first of all, let's look at the titles that are available. There are approximately 40 of them. They range from the 1840s and 1850s up until today with a lot of them from the late 1800s, which has been extremely helpful to me. So let's go and do a search. You have a simple search capability where you can just enter a search term or an advanced search. In the advanced search, you have the ability to search within full text or article headlines. You can display via text or the images themselves. These are small snippets. You can have 10, 20, or 50 results per page. You can have a from and a two range for dates. You can select within a specific newspaper, as you can see here, or all publications. So let's pick a name that I happen to know is in this collection, which is a good idea. And let's do a search. I think there's some 1400, there we go, 1486 results for the surname Braunhart, which is uh, in my family tree. And as you can see, this is a number of the snippets that have come up. And let's pick one. The Braunhart perjury case. It's my great 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 uncle who was uh, indicted for perjury. And here's the article itself. You have the ability to zoom, maximize, or make it smaller. And let's zoom a bit. And here's the article. And over here on the left, as you can see, is the actual text after OCR was done of the scanned image of what came out and that of course is used for performing the searches. If you notice over on this word here it says R-O-U-R-T and if you look at the context it's obviously court stenographer over here in the article you can see it is indeed supposed to be court. So after I show you how to download an image I'm going to show you how you can pay it forward to the next person and actually make a change in the OCR text so that the searches will be better the next time around. First of all, we right click on the article in, a, in order to decide what we're going to do relative to clipping it. And if we hit clip, it brings up two images. Now, if it's a long article, you might have two, three, four, or five images. This is just the way they happen to have divided up each of the articles. If you were to want to save the entire article, you would have to do two images and put them back together again later. And that is not something that I want to do. So we have option two. Let's center our image, zoom it again. And if we use our snipping tool that most computers have these days, we can actually snip the article and we can crop it later and save it from there. Now, that's great. However, as you can see, the yellow highlights are still in the article. I personally don't like saving my images that way, especially from newspapers. So let's get rid of this and go to option three. Option three, which is the one that I always use, is to actually save a PDF of the page. And I will save that. And later on, I will go into the PDF and actually snip the article itself. I won't show you how to do that because everybody knows how to do that. And it will not have the yellow highlights and I will have the image the size that I wanted without, again, the highlights. So let's say I want to correct this text. The way I would do that is I click on this option here, correct this text. Again, you have to be registered and you have to be logged on in order to do it. And let's select this piece right here. And as you can see, it has line by line 
each of the lines in the article. Now I'm not going to correct everything here because I don't want to take your time doing that, but let's go to where we saw the R-O-U-R-T stenographer and make that change. And we will delete the R and put in the C and save it. So if somebody were to do a search for court, C-O-U-R-T, you would actually see that. And I'm not going to bore you with uh, fixing everything in this particular article, but now you see how that works. Let's go back to our viewing mode. And there's your article again. And let's go back to perform another search. Now I'm not going to do that because I've basically shown you uh, what this is all about. It is quite simple, easy to use, but I did want to point out the three anomalies were one, the fact that the clippings are split, that you do have yellow highlights, and you do have the third option of downloading a PDF and snipping it later for the size that you want without the yellow on the article. And then secondly, this one's a little different than a lot of newspaper sites that I've seen in that you do have the ability, if you are registered, to actually make changes to the OCR text and help the next person who is looking for something and the search for them would be even that much better. So that's it, my friends. It is quite easy. Again, it's the California Digital Newspaper Collection, about 40 newspapers, millions of pages, They've done an outstanding job. I think the quality of the scans are quite good as well. I've brought to you by UC Riverside, and I encourage you to use it. And last but not least, it is free, and we know that we like free. So have a great day. Happy hunting, and I hope you find articles about many of your ancestors. Thank you so much.